Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech Review. Happy New Year to all. No, it's been late. It's the 21st of January. I'm late in my videos. I'm not consistent, but I'm trying to get more consistent this year, trying to find what I really want to do and really want to produce for you guys. But as usual, you know, custom ROMs, customizing your device, that's going to be it for now. So today I'm going to bring you a video about Chroma 6.0 Marshmallow, which is a custom ROM as usual. You guys know I'm on my Nexus 4 as usual. Uh, so, you know, this one has been discontinued since for Android Ice Cream Sandwich and it's been, it's now a marshmallow as you guys can see here, 6.0 on my Nexus 4. So, shout out to the developer, shout out to Chroma for continuing making this update for my old phone and, you know, it has all the latest features. What you can see here in the settings menu, it has the uh, black team, the dark team as people call it. and it's kind of like you know darker team it saves battery has a light team as well and all this is just basically going to the features that, that you see in 2015 or 2016 some like ambient display you know other notification settings and how you could go to do, do, do not disturb mode and it's this is this it continues with the same pure stock android experience that you would get in any nexus phone as you buy them out the box so i'm going to turn off my display now and show you guys ambient display So you guys see here it lights up and it shows you like the time it shows you what you have running in the background it blinks a few times notification light blinks so you can't see my notification light but it's just it just looks it's a very easy way to use the phone as you tap the screen here you could pull down see what message is like the screen lights up and stuff and a mess of all this it doesn't kill battery life but i'm gonna get into that section later so the first section as usual is performance now this phone is as snappy as as a phone right out of the box everything opens quick i mean you don't have even have to go into any much you know lag or anything like that and this is a phone that has a 1.3 gigahertz processor and so you could tell that it's a very old phone phones are coming at 1.6 gigahertz processor coming up with more cores and this phone should be obsolete by now but it still runs perfect you know and i'm going to go into my regular speed test that i do by opening a big site like the verge so i'm going to do that right now so see right here in that it's pretty uh, snappy just a few seconds to get to the site here it's gonna say it's gonna open up and you can see it, it moves very very snappy it's not a case where you have any lag or anything that multitasking is all the same you can move between apps it's almost like you're getting next to no lag and bear in mind there's a phone that came out in 2012 so you can imagine that i am very pleased with how this phone looks how the how the whole skin looks on this phone on chroma and the shout out to the developer for making this. I mean, it's just awesome. It's just multitasking easy when you open apps. It just like basically just pops up. So you open Facebook, it just like pops up at you. So this this ROM is just very very snappy, and I, all I have no um, complaints or quarrels with this with this. Like I know some ROMs that tend to change the device or whatever. Like maybe ROMs that maybe based on LG or or LG G4 or what store, those ROMs that have more bloat rear and stuff on it, they tend to be, you know, a little bit lag laggish and stuff in some areas, but this ROM is just flat, like an Android experience out of the box, so you'll buy a, a Nexus phone, just come with pure stock Android, this is what you're getting, and I'm really liking that, they're not changing the whole concept of the whole pure stock Android experience of the box with this team. Now, if customization, you know, this is a very new ROM. It came out Monday this week. This is Friday the 21st, so you could do the calculations. And it's basically the same thing. You have a few gestures, you know, you have a navigation bar you could change, which I love the feature because the, the regular navigation bar looks, you know, horrible. Like, if I put it back to default, look at that big bar down there. Like, it just looks horrible. So I, I, can, I also often change it. To be a smaller bar to you know get more screen HD. I watch a couple movies on my phone. I watch you know a few YouTube videos here and there. I like to see the full video and essence of itself. I don't want to be there you know seeing uh, a big bar at the bottom of my screen all the time. So you know little um, stuff like that adds to the the the, the whole usage and the whole um, how you use your phone experience. So you have little little stuff here you could read if you're watching the video. Of course you're watching the video. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> clear all button. It has the uh, you can add the option to take it off as well. You could clear all tasks. All this stuff you could add on as you go through the experience. So your phone is not gonna look like somebody else's phone. You know you can have the, the battery percentage icon change. Uh, you could change the brightness control. How you adjust the brightness of the screen from just the status bar. How you see your notifications. All that stuff you could just see. You could change how the how the portal menu looks. As is all phones get coming out these days have that customization and 
it's just basically like a, a wonderful basic experience and you could customize quite a few things i mean it's not that customization as i said it's like an android stock experience but of course you can download teams you could download you could uh put on a few launchers on here whatever you want to do but it's just basically how you use your phone and how you want your phone to be you know and that's in that's in essence of it all so uh customization is not really like a big section it's not really too too you know much or whatever and you know i can't really say that i have a lot really to say in this area because this phone it just looks it looks it feels awesome it performs great and i'm going to go into some more customization settings here and see how the dark team has uh if i didn't mention it before you can change it to a light team change back to the dark team save some battery life you got to adapt its uh, brightness uh uh expanded desktop all this stuff you can change and this ambient display you could turn it on or off because surprisingly you want to get a battery life this doesn't kill your battery in any way i had this on for a whole day and basically last minute i unplugged my phone like seven o'clock in the morning and i was able to like get to seven o'clock the evening on light usage so i'll talk about that more in a bit so you could wake it up on charge and all these different stuff you could basically use your phone there is one problem i have when i try to open an app and it was telling me about the storage emulated storage and stuff which i can understand because it still has a few bugs here and there it's not the final product uh, chrome is going to be still updating it. it as i said it came out basically like a week old so you're going to have some hiccups here and there you're going to have some bugs but it's okay for for a daily driver usage if you have your phone you want to try it but it's your daily driver like i'm using my nexus for the daily driver i haven't had like random restarts i had one time this week where an app crashed but that is like random it doesn't really happen that often so you don't have to worry about you know you 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 using this, you're trying to test out this rom and your phone is crashing on you or whatever so on to battery life and this is a very short video but battery life on this phone is is it's very great i mean in whatever uh, i remember there's a feature android those i think i remember it's supposed to be or those by itself and not not, not before android uh, where your phone basically conserves power and shuts some other apps in the background and turns on the wi-fi and everything i'm not sure if this if it's on this uh uh rom but what i do know is the battery life is good with or without that feature as i said i, I woke up around seven o'clock unplugged my phone left home was on wi-fi for a little bit and then i was off wi-fi maybe just using my data traveling and then basically coming home and it had like 20 percent that same day without putting my phone on charger so you know with other rounds i had gripes where i had to put my phone on charger like midday you know around 12 o'clock maybe around three it will last too but with this phone it lasts completely throughout the whole day and i'm very 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 uh, excited that this rom is is out there and you know is able to be you know what what was word can you find a word for it, it just for old phone is very customization and very very helpful so also it is a feature that we, that you can um with the and with android 6.0 now where apps have to ask your permission before they do some stuff so you can you can basically change the permission the each individual notification of each app so you could go in and you could stop an app from accessing your camera you could go in and stop an app from accessing your microphone all this stuff will, will allow the user to have more control over the device not but you could just accept all the the privileges or all that what the app wants to do like in memory android 5.1 we download the app and you and you have an app for, for permissions once you click OK it's to every single thing, even though you see something about accessing your money and you're like, well, I don't really agree to that. You can't, but you can't change it because you have to access to everything above that, including that small feature. But with this, you can kind of choose. Mm, I don't want access to my camera. I mean, open apps, it asks you. So like if it, before running open first, yes, at file explorer, it asks you, do we want to split this app to uh, uh, access my my files my my um storage and you will click allow if it uh, if you open the camera for the first thing as you do want this app to open your camera and all that stuff is very cool and give you you giving you the user more power and more privilege in your hand so you know that is it for my review of this rom is a very light rom i give you guys up to updates on how this rom is going probably other videos maybe a little sharp five minute on it or whatever as they go on in other videos but for now this is just chroma um 6.0.1 marshmallow so it's a very clean stock uh, stock experience of android as you can see me just going through stuff it's just so snappy you know without much lag at all so go and check it out if you guys want to want to go and download for your device i'm going to leave the link in the, in the description uh you guys can go on sda developers and find your pacific phone and download the rom try it out and you know 
So tell me how it goes in the comment section below. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you should leave it a thumbs up, share on your favorite places, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.